Property Name Brothers is at Concourse Skyline. Today, we are bringing you to one of the largest 1163 square feet, one plus study unit layout in District 7. Concourse Skyline is TOP in year 2014. This is a 99 years development sitting on a huge land plot of 20,000 square meters. We are just 3 minutes walk to Nikko Highway MRT and we are at the entrance of Core Singapore Central Region. And so moving into the living room, currently it's fitted with two rocking sofa, I think. Let's take a look. <laughs> Hong Kong Skyline is TOP in year 2014, which means this development is only 7 years old. And this is a 99 years development sitting on a huge land plot of 20,000 square meters. We are actually at the doorstep of Nico Highway and Bugis MRT is only a short 10 minutes walk away. In terms of unit distribution, there's one bedder, two bedder, three bedder, four bedder, a few sky suites and a few penthouses within the project. This project was developed by Hong Fok Corporation and over the years, they have built an extensive portfolio ranging from hybrid condominiums, landed housings and service apartments. Structurally, the Concourse Skyline is made up of two towers rising to a height of 40 storeys high. There's also a shorter block which is made up of 7 storeys and the first 4 floors are made up of commercial shops as well as multi-storey car park. The Concourse Skyline has several one-bedroom layout ranging from 1109 square feet to 1163 square feet and ours is the larger size. <laughs> Now, for this location, we are just right at the doorstep of a core central region and our unit is actually flanked towards the south by Nico Highway and towards the north, we get to see Beach Road and this is north facing which means that you have a good breeze of wind coming right through your unit. So, we are actually facing the shop houses at Jalan Sultan and these are all conservation shop houses which means that your views are essentially protected. And so, right opposite us is City Gate and you have three stories of commercial shop space over there and there's also wide varieties of food options for your daily needs. Just down the you have Golden Mile Complex and Tower which there is plenty of authentic Thai cuisine for you to enjoy. And this puts us on par to the rare residential units that we have an MRT literally just right at our doorsteps. Now, Nico Highway MRT is also conveniently located on the Circle Line which means that you will be able to access areas such as Paleba, Shrangun and Dobi God very easily. In 2025, where Prince Edward MRT, Cantonment MRT and Keppel MRT are coming up and running, we'll have all direct access very quickly to the western part of Singapore when the circle line comes to a full circle. And with just 10 minutes walking distance, you'll head out to Bugis MRT and over there at Bugis Junction, there's wide arrays of our food options as well. And also, if you'd like to take the east-west MRT line, if you're driving, it's a short drive down towards town or the CBD area. Alternatively, if you turn towards Nico Highway, that will bring you very quickly to across the Kalang Basin to the eastern area such as Kalang, Old Airport Road and Paleba. Not forgetting, in just a short 5 minutes drive away, you'll reach ECP where it will connect you to the rest of Singapore. Stepping into the main entrance, you'll first be greeted with this open plan kitchen and this is really a generous space. I think it's really rare for a one plus study with dual countertops over here at this kitchen. So for a start, maybe we can start off with this wet kitchen first. So the wet kitchen itself, it has uh, been inbuilt with top and bottom cabinetries, three burners, cooker and also a hood as well. Additionally, there's also bottom cabinetries to put in your pots and pans. Over here, it's flush with an inbuilt oven. You have your washing machine and you also have your inbuilt fridge and freezer. This is extremely functional layout. Other than your one plus study bedroom, you still get to have your storeroom over here which is the household shelter. This is where you can place all your heavy stuff. And over here would be the DB box. And let's head to the dry kitchen and this is a general space I feel. It's a good preparation top for you to prepare your food, have a quick meal and head out. Or alternatively, you can have a good session with your loved ones, family members. So heading out to the dining space, this is a huge six-seater dining space and it's a great transition space from your dry kitchen, wet kitchen and also your dining space and towards the living room as well. And over here, there's a bookshelf that separates between the foyer area, dining space and the living space.
And so moving into the living room, currently it's fitted with two rocking sofa, I think. Let's take a look. <laughs> So with this two rocking chair over here, alternatively you can change it. You can put in a three seater with L so far it's also doable. And also here there's designated wall for you to add in your feature wall. If you like to add in a TV console, you can also do one over here. I think it fits nice a 50 inch TV in this space. The layout is extremely functional. There's no odd angles, no wasted space, all fully usable. And with ductile air condition, it gives you a very even flow throughout the whole entire building itself. And it's also very neat to the eye. Alright, so now let's head up to the balcony space. We have a very squarish balcony, very usable as well. You can add in some outdoor furniture over here to enjoy a nice view. You get to see the bay over there. Alternatively, if you like alfresco dining, you can shift your six-seater dining set right outside here. Or alternatively, if you like to work out in this balcony space, it's also very possible. <music> Looking at the different type of floor plan over here, there are mainly two layouts for the one plus study bedroom, which is B1 and B2 variant. For the B1 layout, they are slightly in a more compact side, with the main door entrance facing towards a wall rather than towards the living room space. However, for our layout, we have this extra space at the foyer area that serves as a welcome entrance and also a perfect space for you to put in your shoes cabinet. Towards the comparison, you'll find that the B2 layout that can only be found in Stack 8, which is fronts towards the unblocked view of the shop houses. Before we head to the master room, we have this special lingway over here. Generous width. There's even a chest of drawers over here. It's really unique for one bedroom plus study to have two bathrooms. And so this is the common bathroom that serves for your guests. Very good size. You have a proper standing shower as well. Shower screen, WC, mirror. The developers has also given very good quality finishing as well. Coming to the master room is really very sizable for a one plus study and this is a king size bed over here and there's so much space catered. This is extremely privacy because this wall here behind is actually their walk-in closet. Your bathroom area doesn't really face towards this entrance area. The flooring for the master room is real solid long strips wooden flooring. It's extremely doable as well. There's no fan coil, it's all ductile aircon, even airflow and also very neat and pleasant. And this master room has the same view as the living room. And also this area here is where you can designate as your feature wall if you like to have a warm out TV over here to enjoy a nice TV show lying in your resting area. And so moving ahead, this is where the built-in closet is. I think it's extremely thoughtful for this design. It has a flush door towards this wall over here. This design is more costly to build and it's already provided by the developers. So coming in, this is uh, the closet space. You have chairs of drawers over here. And so coming into the master bathroom, this is really generous space as well. I love the bathtub because you know you can soak in after a hard day's work. Comes with a rain shower, so if you are people who love to enjoy standing in the rain, you can enjoy it over here. And also a separate shower head as well to wash yourself. You have also a mirror behind, there's also storage space. Good countertop is uh, sunken in. There's also chest of drawers over here. There's also two windows for you to air dry your bathroom after a hot shower. Now, let me share with you the future growth and development we have in this area. The URA Master Plan 2019 shows that the Kampong Bugis is especially identified as one of the urban transformation projects to undergo a series of developments and growth. This area is planned by the government to be an attractive waterfront residential precinct comprising of 4,000 private homes complementing 5,000 square meters of retail, office, and leisure spaces, with an injection of a new benchmark prices in the residential home in this district. In addition, the Ophia Rocho Corridor is undergoing a massive Redevelopment. The area encompassing Golden Mile Complex, Golden Mile Towers, and Jalan Sultan Rethink will eventually be rejuvenated. The developments here have come of age, and once URA awards the master developer tender for the Kampong Bugis area, real estate values will be enhanced when the older buildings are redeveloped. The rejuvenation of the area may create a new sub CBD and raise interest among developers for future land sales sites such as Kampong Bugis. For facilities-wise, there's the hot spa, main swimming pool, jacuzzi, barbecue pits, 
clubhouse, gym, and a sheltered walkway to Nico Highway MRT. For leisure, we are short distance to the park connector, cycling path along Kalang Basin. Singapore Sports Hub and Kalang Wave Mall, which are just a short 5 minutes drive away, also offers plenty of recreation and sports leisure activities, ranging from soccer, badminton, to rock climbing and beach volleyballs. So this is where the study bedroom is. This is a very sizable study bedroom. If you like to change it into a full-fledged bedroom, it's also doable with wardrobe and also a single bed. And alternatively, if you like to have an extended dining space and living room space, this wall over here and this wall can be removed and you can have a larger living dining room space. And this bedroom has a very cool features. Let's check it out. And this has a dual entrance over here. You can access this bedroom via your dining room space or alternatively, you can come in through the balcony space. The view from this bedroom is similar to your balcony space and also from the master room. It has a clear unblocked view of the houses. Very functional, practical bedroom. This would be an added bedroom. Probably work from home situation, guest bedroom, helper's room. It's multifunctional. At dual residences, a mixed development, the PSF range for one beta is 2,153 to 2,760 per square feet. Some of the newer launches such as the M would have their PSF around the range of 2,185 to 3,039 per square feet. With new launch integrated developments such as Midtown Bay having their per square feet from 3,039 per square feet to 4,022 per square feet. And coming back to our one plus study unit here, our asking price of 2.3 million, which is one of the biggest you can find in this area with an asking price of only 1,977 per square feet. With the new launches, one beta hitting the 3,000 per square feet mark and even close to 4,000 per square feet for higher floor units. We feel that this property hits the main try factors and that is the location which is fantastic, the size and the per square feet of less than 2,000 per square feet within the CCR region. So if you're looking to purchase this property as your own stay or investment approach, let us dive into the numbers for you. Let's say you and your spouse each earn $7,000 that would put the CPF contribution at $2,760. With the bank interest rate at 1.2% with a 30 years loan tenure, it will put the bank monthly repayment at $5,708,000. And if you were to use your CPF to finance your home and at the same time having a rental yield of $5,000, you'll be essentially be collecting a monthly positive cash flow of $2,052 per month. The rental transaction over here is also extremely healthy with close to 30 transactions done in just two months. So we think that either you offer own stay approach or investment approach, we got you covered. With all the upcoming development plans in Bugis Kampong, this is definitely a great opportunity for you to own a property in Concourse and Skyline. Do give our listing managers a call and also do like and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok channel. I'm Adrian Lim, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Wow, this balcony is so lovely that I like to do my push-up over here. Let's check it out. All right. Push up with a view. Wonderful. Alamak. <laughs> hey. Must do some more. Fit already. Eh. Do um, rocking sofa, I think. Let's take a look. <laughs> so we 